Hi, I'd like to show you how to type integral notation from within the Canvas Equation Editor. So we're going to look at these four integrals right here, and we're going to generate integral notation with limits, so definite integral notation, integral notation with infinities, fractions, and square roots. So let's start with this first one, the integral from 0 to 1 of x squared minus 3x dx. So in Canvas, we want to click on the Pi button, the Insert Math Equation button, and it's going to bring up an equation editor. Just delete out the text that's already there, and then we can get an integral in the basic menu. It's right here, or using backslash int. So let's just grab it from the menu this time. To get the superscript and subscript on this integral, to make the definite limits, we want sub and sup. So you can get them right off this menu, or you can type underscore for a subscript and caret for a superscript. So here's my zero. I need an arrow or tab to get out of that blue subscript box. And then I would want a superscript, which again I can grab off this menu like that, or I can use a caret for. Again, I want to get out of the superscript and then type the parentheses I need, x caret 2 for the superscript, minus 3x, tab or caret to get out of that blue box again, and then dx. When I insert this on the screen, you can see it shows up quite nicely. If I want to edit this, I just need to go back into it, which means I click on it on the screen, go back to the Pi button, and then I should be right back in the equation editor. So then I could change something on the screen, say that to a 4, and reinsert the equation, like so. Okay, let's go ahead and do one with an infinity symbol now. We'll do this one all with the text. So I'm going to click on pi to insert an equation. Backspace out this 1 plus 1. I'll use backslash int space, which generates the integral symbol, underscore for the subscript of 1, text, or sorry, arrow or tab to get out, then superscript, which is a caret, to get an infinity, and this is backslash infty space, and that'll generate an infinity. Another way to get it is off this miscellaneous menu. It's that symbol right there. You can see it stands, you can get it with backslash infty. Okay, then we could type x caret negative second tab or arrow to get out dx and insert the equation and you should see it appear on the screen like so. Okay, let's do one with a fraction now. So let's go ahead and um, move this down a little bit. Insert a new equation, backspace out of this stuff backslash int for integral. And then to get a fraction, let's just start typing the numerator. Let me remind you what it is we're trying to get here. We're trying to get that x squared minus 3x over 3x dx. So I'm going to go ahead and type the first part, which is x squared minus 3x. If I use shift and then an arrow key to highlight it, then I can just press the division key, which is right below the question mark on the keyboard, and then type 3x. It should put it in the denominator tab to get out of that dx. So if I insert this, you'll see it shows up nicely as a fraction on the screen. And then we can go on to the next one. Uh, we're going to do an integral from 4 to 2, sorry, 2 to 4. Oops, that's not the right one. How about this one? Integral from 2 to 4 of x times the square root of x squared minus 4. We use square roots a lot in these integrals, so I just thought I'd show you that one more. So we'll insert an equation. Backspace of all this stuff. Backspace backslash int subscript, which is underscore of 2, superscript, which is caret 4, and then x. And then to get the square root, I can just do backslash sqrt space. That gives me the square root um, symbol. I can type what I want to underneath it. Now, if I just type dx here, see what happened? It showed up underneath the square root, which is not what I want. So I'm going to go back and take it out. And then see that blue box? We just need to get out of that blue box with a tab key and then press dx. And we should be able to insert that on screen and you'll see it show up nicely on the screen there. 2 to 4 of x times the square root of x squared minus 4. The dx is outside the square root, but if you want a little bit more space there, we could go back in and um, and grab that off the menu. So let's go ahead and let me scroll up just a little bit here. Re-edit this equation. Whoops, that was the wrong thing to press. Let's try again. Re-edit the equation. And so let's just put in a little space here and insert the equation, and you'll see we get a little bit of space on screen. If you'd like some more tips on using uh, Instructure Canvas's equation editor, you can find them at busynessgirl.com slash resources slash handouts. There's a handout that looks like this, Tips for Instructure Canvas Equation Editor. That'll tell you the shortcuts to, or the long cuts, depending on how you look at it. 
you get to keep from picking up your mouse anyways, um, and you might find it helpful.